What is going on my peoples, my peoples, peoples, and my plant people. So, how are you doing? Okay. Okay. I equally am doing well. Um, I did get me a package, as you see. Today is my birthday, so my birthday this year fell on a Friday, which is amazing. So I won't be having a video come out Sunday. So if you are expecting the video to come out on Sunday, it's not there. Um, but I did get a birthday package and I really wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I guess I'll tell you a little backstory about it. Well, there's a couple of different stories, okay? Um, but I am gonna show the, I mean, I am gonna show the video. I mean, I am gonna show the plant. So um, I had this plant that I got from Echo General and it just kind of like slowly died. Um, I think I didn't have it. I, di I didn't take enough care of it. That's just, you know, to kind of keep it short on that one. I didn't take enough uh, care of it. To me, it was prized. So, um, and then you'll see once I show it why it's prized and stuff like that. So I definitely had to pull back on, uh, pull back up on it and uh get this plant or whatnot but let me tell you this ups i apologize if you are a ups um employee but ups really sucks so let me tell you so i ordered this plant from uh bros with hoes or whatnot down in florida and uh the first time it came right so one thing about me i don't work near my house okay not even close i work about an hour away okay so and it is my look so when bros of hoes sent the plant ups had it delivered like around like four or five or something like that i typically don't get home till about seven o'clock okay so because i do not get home till about seven o'clock i um miss packages that come through ups because with ups typically you have to do the signing or whatnot i really dislike going on to ups because every time i go on there and put my password in there is always something wrong with the password and I always got to rechange it. So typically I just dislike um, going in and changing the password. And then um, you also have to pay for the change fee or whatnot. I can't remember exactly how much it is, but it's the principles, no matter how much it is, it's the principles, okay? Um, but it got delivered twice and then it got to UPS um, for me to pick up. And I promise you guys, uh, I got the email that I can come and pick it up. Maybe about five minutes later, I got an email that it got picked up. How? Because what is it by me? And it's funny because if you've gotten or had to pick up your plant, I mean, pick up anything from UPS, you know you have to show a photo ID. So ideally, somebody stole my plant from UPS. You lucky mofo. Um, but I contacted UPS like twice. I contacted, uh, I, com uh, I contacted the store and I contacted UPS cause I wasn't going for it. Okay. So in contacting UPS and, um, and, uh, the store and UPS itself, I put like a little something, something on it. Um, uh, an investigation or something like that. Is something gonna come out of it? Probably not. Let's be very realistic. Right. So, uh, because that did happen. Um, I end up contacting bros with hoes and bros with hoes, um, contacted me back and was like, you know, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, we'll send you out another one. Okay. And I kept, and I contacted him and was like, Hey, well, one of the issues was is that, um, it has to be signed for, and I can't sign for it because I'm typically not there at the time. All right. So I think bros with hoes end up sending it to be delivered a lot later. Cause it was going to get, get delivered at about seven o'clock. So it was going to be seven o'clock on a Thursday. And, um, it got delivered at about, or tried to get delivered about five again. So once again, tracking all the way off, not as it says. To some people that early delivery would have been great, but for me, it's just not because I'm not home around that time. Like I said, I don't get home to about seven o'clock, but um, I end up picking it up on uh, that Friday or whatnot. And um, yeah, so that happened. So I finally did get a gift. Um, so I just want to thank Bros of Hoes if anybody like know them or something like that. Um, shout out to Bros of Hoes, um, cause they got your boy to plant. Okay. So let me shut up and get you to, get you to plant. Okay. Here we go.
Okay, so we got our bros and hoes package right here. Um, and I have my scissors around here, okay. So, um, a little bit about this plant. So this, if you are a subscriber, then you kind of already know. This plant I got for myself when I graduated, okay. So some people like probably already know what this plant is. So it's more dear to me than just the plant itself. It's the significance of my graduation, which happened in March or whatnot. Um, if you are new here, I graduated with my master's degree in marriage and family therapy. I am a therapist. Um, I typically see pretty much a little bit of everybody. I see couples. I see individual people. Um, let me turn it this way because I don't want my information to be seen. Um, but I typically see individuals. I see couples. Sometimes I see family. Um, like I, just recently I've been doing family, a lot of family and whatnot, which is really great. Um, black, white, Spanish, Puerto Rican, doesn't really matter to me, you know what I mean? Um, but I typically see a lot of black men because I am a black man and therapy is really growing on people. So, um, yeah, so live plant inside, bros and hoes, thank you again. I'll probably keep, keep thanking them. So let's do this or whatnot. Got my little, got my little uh receipt or whatnot and i also emailed bros and hoes and let them know that i did get my plant or whatnot so um cool little little what's uh what's this packaging and stuff like that so this is pretty cool step one of course take your plant out the wrapper remove all the packing material void scissors to not cut the leaves of course remove the sphagnum off off the top of the soil stuff like that don't forget to check the soil for moisture and uh, hold off on repotting tell you the truth um, I say repot whenever the hell you want to. It's your plant, you know what I mean? Like if you get a plant and you're like, I want to repot this so bad, just do it. Plant is gonna go through shock regardless. Hear me out. The plant is going to go through shock regardless. I don't know if anybody told you that, but okay. We like the packaging because we got the little, uh, little puffies. I'm not exactly sure how to dispose of these, but yeah, so. Uh, here we go. It smells like cereal. It smells like cereal. Okay. Still got some little popcorn in here. If you know what this plan is, stop it right now before I um, stop it and tell me before. Oh, uh, about my birthday. So my birthday is November first, and it's kind of funny, funny story. So I was actually supposed to be born on Halloween. This is how I let people um, in on how to remember my birthday. So I was supposed to be born on Halloween, but my grandmother being a very Christian woman, we are Seventh Day, or I recognize Seventh Day Adventists. Um, that means that we go to church on Saturdays typically. Um, shout out to all my Seventh Day Adventists. Um, but, uh, yeah, we typically go to the church on a Saturday or whatnot. But my grandmother is very spiritual. And at that time, um, she was like, age, no, we're not having a child on Halloween. But little does she know. Okay, um, so I was born like early morning. Um, I was born early morning September. I mean, uh, early morning, November 1st. So I think like maybe two or three in the morning. Shout out to all my Scorpio, Scorpio gang, you know, come on. So let's try to get this thing out of here. Like I said, don't use no scissors. Um, if you are not an artsy person with scissors, yeah, that, that probably would have been a lot better. But, okay. So, can I just slip it off? Okay, it got a little bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, so we are going to unravel um, this. I don't want to mess this. Little packaging up. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Jeez. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We are feeling good about this so far. We are feeling good about this. Okay. Soil is a little bit everywhere. All right. 
Okay, okay. We're liking this. We're liking this. Still some little popcorn down in there. And I did only spurge on one because I am going out of the country right now. If you're watching this, I am out of the country. I am somewhere in Africa. I'll tell you all about my trip when I get back. You know what I'm talking about? There we go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We like this. We for sure like this. Let me take off this magnum off. Oh, well, that just fell. Okay. This is my little pot and bowl. I don't want this to dirty on my floors. I'm trying to, right now I'm actually packing still um, and trying to see if I'm gonna get a rental car because with the place that I'm going, it's like $40 a taxi, but like it's less to get an actual car. So um, we're gonna see what that is. But okay. We're liking this. It is looking clean. Okay, we got one little lost leaf. That's all right. That is okay. Um, this is in, it looks like a little chunky mix, actually. It don't look really that bad. Uh, when I get back, I will probably repot it in like some liquor uh, because I'm just a liquor maniac. Just like to mix the soil up a little bit. I'll wash my hands later. But if you have not figured out what this is, this here is the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. And this is one of those, um, this one of those plants when it first was, when I first heard about it, cause it probably been out for, I mean, I'm sure it's been out for a long time, but when I first heard about it, I was just astounded, I was just amazed, and I I was blown away about how amazing this plant is. And it used to be so freaking expensive, but um, I don't think that this was that expensive. I don't have the price on it. I think it would have been about maybe 50, 60 bucks. So 50, 60 bucks for Phil Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Let me tell you something, that's a really great price. So if you are looking into getting you a uh, Spiritus Sancti, I would definitely say um, check out Bros with Holes because we like that. Actually, I do kind of want to repot this. I don't want to repot the soil per se. Um, I just kind of want to put it in a clear pot. So we're going to move, put that soil over there, dead leaf right there. Let's see. Um, but yeah, so during my graduation, if you watch me talk about that, I talked about, um, I've got a little clean one. So I talked about, um, that should be good. So during graduation, I talked about it, um, being my like kind of spiritual kind of plant because it has spirit, uh, spirit, spiritus in it whatnot so we're not really gonna try to like check the roots or anything because i don't really have time i guess but it's just so bad mm, yeah but i'm probably still gonna put it in uh, i'm probably still gonna put it in uh Lekka when i get back but i just want to put this in here uh just because i like the clear whatnot um and i may keep this in there for a little bit i don't know y'all know how plant people are um a little indecisive uh, but I do want to put it in Lekka because I just think that Lekka is a really good pot medium. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Should I just go ahead and keep it like this right here? Or should I put it in Lekka? Okay. Um, but yeah, so I wanted this plant for my graduation because it just meant a lot to me. And ever since I uh, wanted this plant, I was actually going to um, purchase it before, but I said no. I will wait. I will wait until I graduate, right? Um, to make it a lot more meaningful, ideally. Um, Cause it wasn't about the price or whatnot. It was more so about um, me. Yeah, we like that. Yeah, that's, that's, 
that's really nice. So it was more so about me um, graduating and it being just something new for me. So I got a plant that represented my graduation. So now this plant right here is my graduation and my birthday gift. So it's a lot more meaningful. It looks like there's two plants in there. So we'll do one and one, you know what I mean? I'll probably keep them together just because I don't really need two of them in different places until it gets big enough where I should separate it, you know what I mean? Right now, I like it because it's like, it's very, um, it's very plush or whatnot. So we're liking that, we're loving that. Um, I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. Just not, I can't really make it that long, but I just want to tell you um, about my packaging and then about my birthday and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Always for coming through and if you stay to the end, you might as well subscribe. Watch some other videos of me, you know what I'm saying? Get a chance. Give me a chance, you feel me? Give me a chance, you know what I'm saying? Um, I also do got a cash app, you know what I'm saying? I'll put that information down there if you really love you, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Cash app is there. We, we do that. We ain't got no shame in that. But if you are not subscribed, subscribe. Um, and I would love to see your comment down there. Um, I will get to all of the happy birthdays because I know that on my regular videos, I have a lot of comments. So I'm sure that this one right here is gonna be bare none. Um, I, I appreciate you guys um, for sticking with me and I did celebrate two years, um, some October, uh, what's the day? Today is the 26th, so I think like the 22nd or something like that. So we did celebrate two years on YouTube. So yay, I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. And I have like some cool little family down there. I just, I appreciate you guys for everything that you do because you don't have to come and celebrate with me, but you do. And I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like, share, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to kick in a little duck, you know what I'm saying, for a little meal, you can do that too. Um, shout out to all my Scorpios. Definitely let me know in the comment who the Scorpio is. Let your boy know. I try to shout you out. Okay. So, um yeah that's pretty much it all right thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you again so um y'all have y'all a good day and love peace and